Hi, in this video I want to give show you this tool Trello, which is one of many tools like this that do uh, what's known as Kanban boards. These are basically boards where you can create lists of, of sort of to-do for a project and move them from one column to another, the columns representing things that are to-do, things that are in progress, things that are done. And so let's just set up something like this. It can be useful for project planning. And uh, let's just take a look at how it would work. So you can create an account for free. Uh, and then you log in and you're going to create a board. So we'll come over here, and create a board, and we'll just call it, like, say this is for your portfolio project. And um, so first of all, <clears throat> We can um, make a to-do list, so, and then we could have like an in-progress, progress, and then we could have like a done. So if you're a project manager and you're um, trying to manage, you know, where things are, who's working on them, this is a, a tool that can help you with that, but it can also help you with yourself just to help you get going on thinking about your project. So for a to-do, we can add a card and we can say like, you know, choose projects or portfolio. So that's a big project. You could, you could almost break that down. Um, we'll say like set up assets and these would be like pictures of projects, things like that. And we could say we're going to need a, a LinkedIn profile. So I'm giving you some ideas here. There are obviously many more that you can come up with. Um, choose bootstrap or hand code technology. OK, so let's say we've got these all set up. Um, we can go in and if we're trying to create maybe a timeline, you could go in and you could set like a due date. So the due date, maybe I would say uh, I want this due next month, maybe, I don't know, like on the, on the first. Um, so that's, you know, you can just pick whatever date you want and, and you can also, um, so you see those dates here. Then while you're working on the project, you can be moving things around. So you can take this to done. And um, once you're done. So you can also look at some of the other options available there. They really are more than what you would need for a project you're planning for yourself. But it's also a good tool to get used to using. You can also uh, add users to this. So right now this is private, but I could go in and invite other people. So if I was working on a group project, I could use this to help uh, get other people sharing my project. So this is just a tool that, you, you know, even if you are not planning on doing a really grand project, sometimes I think it helps just to have a tool to help me write a to-do list. And then I always feel good when I get to move it over to a second position like okay I am getting this thing done you know and as you think of more um, more items to do you can add other cards you know so for you for example oh I definitely need to deploy this you know and the thing is if you spend some time doing this um, for your project planning week it will it can help you really to think through all the things that you need to do and then see kind of the the scope of what you're going to be working on all right, so I hope this little tool um, can help you to get your project planning going.